Time to go, boy. I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay. Okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? All right. God, yes. Second time's the charm. I can't charm. believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. Listen, buddy, I ain't got a red cent for you, and I feel terrible. But I did overhear something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jawed on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. What, I look the type for all that, huh? That's up to you, friend. Law will be looking for you something fierce. They won't find me. Not this time. Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. You okay? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. We got a spot for you here, Arthur. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. See you later. All right, that's enough for me. Always good to see you. Hi, Arthur. You seem in a good mood. I guess. Well, I won't go spoiling it. Yeah, goodbye. I bet you're happy. Hey, son, 
Cheer up. Cheer up. I need you cheerful. I'm real cheerful, sir. Well, then try smiling. We are gonna be okay. I know, sir. Arthur, would you tell him things are gonna be okay? When you say it, Dutch, we all believe it. <laughs> and that's Arthur Morgan speaking. The best man I know. And enough with the sir. This ain't the army. We win our fights. John. Hello, Arthur. Planning the next big score, are you? Leave it out, Morgan. Well, don't let me disturb you. Sure. Hi there, Arthur. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. How have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure. Yeah, I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it was all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. Hello, Abigail. Oh. Hi. Is the boy behaving himself? I guess. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Uh huh. Hi, Karen. Hey, Javier. Hola. Everything good? I guess. I hope so. Okay. Thanks. I'm bored, Arthur. Are there any jobs going? I'm sure there will be soon. I'll let you know. Yes. See you later. Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money. Lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money. And before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that, I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. You joining us here, Arthur? Hey. You all right there? Yeah. I think so. What are we gonna do with you? Arthur? Nickel. 
do you? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. Hey, mister, mister Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he once beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Hey, mister. How do you do? Huh? Beating up half the saloon like that? Don't think this day can Near get much worse. Out in the Life street. sure ain't easy. Become funny since then. Hello, sir. How does you? Just move on. We don't need your type around here. Come on. There's got to be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. Hello. As far as I care, you ain't even here. Good to see you again, pardon? So, what are you aiming for today? Now, let me have a look. Mister? Evening, sir. Thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. Ah. I really appreciate your service. Goodbye. Sir? Evening. You know when you have one of those days? Okay, I think that's it. You ain't welcome here no more. It's all good. Calm down. I'm telling you, this is your last warning. You within your rights, push back. You learned to respect the goddamn law, you hear? Vampires and Santonese. Real Come on, science. Hell of a thing if it's true. Well, I'll be a mule and jewel.
Idiot. So up now. Ah. Thank you. 